Hi and welcome to Visual C++ tutorial. In this very section, I will just be showing you guys how to use currency formatter in Visual C++. So I'm going to start by just let's give that a name. Let's just call it currency format. Okay. So make sure you select Windows Forms application and just click on OK. And there we go. That's our form ready. Let's turn the size of my form about that size. That's what I really don't need the form that large. So just to show you how to get the currency formatter into C++. So I have a button there. I just selected a button. Let's select the label as well and uh, the text box as our input device. So let's come down here and look for a text box right there. Yeah, and maybe one more label. I might as well just copy. Let's copy that. That would be the title. Alright, the next thing I'll do is just uh, that very title. Let's come down here and change the font size. There, I'll change the font size to bold and let's make that maybe 48 so that you guys can see it. So let's come to text and just enter as follows I think 48 might be too big so maybe I should reduce that a little bit maybe let's go for 22 all right how to create currency formatter in Visual C++ and the other comp component let's change the font size of those as well let's make that bold maybe 24 and uh, that's a button there I'll just use that button as a trigger function for me why this text box I will use that as an input device let's give that a name txt uh, txt input yeah that's fine and the label will be lbl output lbl out why this one will be let's just call that btn btn currency there just change that to change that to format currency there right and that would do it the next thing is just to format this label let's change the property here auto size make that force and border style and get rid of the content in there there yes and then extend the size and let's just get the data dead center there now we're ready to take care of the program or the coding part of it okay let's double click on the button right there i will then declare a local variable and enter a craft there to denote string there and uh, i will declare a double double and my variable local variable let's make that pounds and just then we now need this very pound sign anyway pounds equals let's convert that convert to int 32 okay convert to int 32 that should be capital c okay then um, i have to now enter my text box which is the input arrow to text and close that and the next thing is to assign whatever value we have in there the equals assign that to the variable here and i denote it as a string so string format open a bracket speech map call a bracket okay and close that speech mark and that's my pounds right in here you then have to enter let me enter zero and c2 so this is the format that we actually convert it to the pound sign that I wanted okay right here and uh, my output and get an arrow there That'll be text 
equals make that string and that is all there is to it with this simple line of code let's see what's going to happen so now let's compile go to debug and uh, we just take it from there that's it compilation is successful now let's run the program and see the enter let's enter some data in there and click on format currency there you can see the pound sign and uh, maybe I should get this in the middle so with that simple line of code you can see how you can use that to format your data or your numbers into pound sign but one thing first let me just select it and get it set in the center let's come to a line center right here right there so the bug again the bug is successful run it again and enter whatever amount you want in there click and that's it well one thing let me show you one thing just before I leave let's go back to the code take it down right here you see here that means two decimal place supposing I enter maybe five if we debug and uh, you'll see what will happen now okay run it and just enter whatever you want to enter right there and just click on format you can see you end up with five decimal places so and that is how you create your own currency formatter so with that I'll just call it the end of this program I suppose you all enjoy the brief program and I'll be back with more C++ tutorial that's the lines of code run it one more time day so you all have a nice day now